USCIS is taking longer than ever to decide I-130 petitions. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. Do you know how long USCIS recently stated in their Processing Times report that they are saying that the National Benefit Center, which processes the most I-130 petitions in the country, is taking 50 months? Yes, that's right. Four years and two months to decide an I-130. Now, I-130 petitions are the most important family-based petitions that USCIS processes. Now, remember, they charge a fee for this. They are not doing this for free. Everyone paid money to have USCIS adjudicate their I-130 petitions. Who can green card holders sponsor for an I-130 petition? Their spouse, their underage children, and their overage unmarried children. That's it. So these are talking about the actual cases that bring families together, that allow people to bring or keep family members here in the United States. And USCIS is taking 50 months to decide these? Are you kidding me? I am losing my mind. When I was a new immigration lawyer, these cases took four months, four or five months. Now they're saying four years and two months? Is nobody paying attention? Now listen, I badmouthed and trash-talked Donald Trump and USCIS under the Trump administration for years and years. And maybe that a big consequence of the Trump era is that these cases are taking longer and longer. But are you kidding me? You're that incompetent. You're that foolish. You're that dumb that you can't decide whether a couple is married in four and a half years. Are you serious? This is absolutely ridiculous. USCIS and Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas and Ur Jadu should be ashamed of themselves for keeping families separated from each other this very long. I really can't understand it. I mean, all that they really have to figure out is, are both parties eligible to marry? If they've been married before, did their prior spouse die or did they get divorced? If they were never married, then clearly they're eligible to marry unless they're underage or have some kind of other very obscure legal impediment to becoming the married couple that they are hoping to through the I-130 petition process. So I, I don't know what to say other than the fact that we've been suing the crap out of USCIS for taking too long on these I-130 petitions. We recently went over 1,600 lawsuits against USCIS and or the State Department for taking too long. And one of the lawsuits we file all the time are for I-130 petitions that are simply stuck at the National Benefit Center or other places. Now, you might be saying to yourself, do I have to wait for the processing times to be completed? Well, that's what USCIS wants you to do. That's why they keep moving the goalposts. That's why they keep changing the processing times from 12 months, which it was just a few years ago, to 18 months, to 24 months. Now we're at four years and two months. This is no way to run a country. This is no way to run an immigration system. This agency is an absolute joke. So hopefully you're figuring that out on yourself. It's not just me saying this. It's 50 months. It's four years. It's longer than a presidential term to get the I-130 approved. Think about babies that you know that are now four years old. Think how long they've been alive. There are families with babies where the overseas spouse hasn't been able to meet the child because USCIS can't do their freaking job. And don't forget, if they're overseas... There's a whole other part of dealing with the Department of State after the I-130 is approved. But until this agency gets off its ass and starts working harder to get these petitions approved faster, families are suffering. Families are suffering. And, it, and they really need to take a look at this. I really wish an industrious member of Congress would haul Ur Jadu into the Capitol and grill her on what efforts, if any, are you taking to make these faster? Now, you would have thought that halfway through, almost three quarters of the way through the Biden administration, that we'd be seeing processing times go faster, but they don't care. They don't care. They just throw up their arms and say, pandemic, 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 Trump, 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 leave us alone, nothing to see here, go over there. It's an absolute joke. So, I don't know what else I can do except make these videos. I'm going to reach out to a reporter friend I know and talk about this. It's absolutely ridiculous. In any event, if you are looking for help with a delayed I-130 petition or any other kind of immigration case, we would love to sue them for you. It's our favorite thing to do. We bring them into federal court and we try to get a federal judge to compel them to decide these long-stuck cases. We've been able to reunite families faster 
We've been able to force them to move faster than 50 months on an I-130 petition. If your case has been pending for more than a year, a year and a half, two years, you don't have to wait four years and two months for these clowns to do their freaking job. You can sue them in federal court and get the case moving. They don't want a federal judge looking at how ridiculous they are. It's an absolute travesty. So if you want our help, give us a call, 314-961-8200. Email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're simply looking for free resources, nothing wrong with that. We have a great Immigrant Home Facebook group. You're free to join there. There's people talking about what countries they're processing through, what service centers or field offices are handling their cases. All those things are good to go in our, in our Facebook group, and you should join us there. And finally, we have our YouTube channel. We put out two or three new videos a week, and I also go live three or four times a week doing the Immigration Answer Show. And you can either subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the Facebook group, or you can text the word show to 314-470-3300 to find uh, out when our next show is. Finally, if you're not following us on TikTok, please do at Immigration Hacking, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much. Peace out.